Election reform talks resumed today with a bipartisan group of senators hoping to reach a compromise by next week. Changes that are being considered include expanded background checks and red flag laws that would take away guns from people who are deemed dangerous. ABC's Andrew Dimber has more on the challenge to find enough votes. This morning, as the victims in the Texas school shooting are laid to rest, President Biden is promising to meet with Congress on guns. I've been to more mass shooting aftermaths than I think any president in American history, unfortunately. And it's, uh, it's just so much of it is much of it is preventable. On Tuesday, the president meeting with New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, praising her success in passing a ban on military-style semi-automatic weapons after a white supremacist killed 51 Muslim worshippers in 2019. The White House says the president would support similar legislation. He supports a ban on sale of assault weapons and high-capacity magazines. But the administration acknowledges passing any new gun legislation would be an uphill battle. On Tuesday, a bipartisan meeting of senators led by Democrats Chris Murphy and Republican John Cornyn to discuss gun reform. My plan is to get a bill, a comprehensive bill, that will save lives. Opponents argue gun restrictions do not work. The problem which is mental illness and school safety. Meanwhile, lawmakers in the House plan to vote as early as tomorrow on a package of bills known as the Protecting Our Kids Act. The bill would include laws to raise the age to purchase a semi-automatic center fire rifle from 18 to 21, make it illegal to possess a large capacity magazine with few exceptions, and establish requirements regulating the storage of firearms. And while gun legislation stalls in Washington, local leaders are voicing their outrage. I'm mad about it. I'm fed up. And uh, I concur with many of our citizens here and across this country that enough is enough and this issue of gun violence has to be addressed. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York.